Hey everybody, Anne here, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on what's been going on with the van, because it's really cold outside, can't do a whole lot, but I've been doing some dreaming and some shopping and some measuring, and I just kind of wanted to share a little bit with you. Oh, that's Betty, that's my pit bull, she's a, a red brindle cutie pie, and that thing in the back is um, a deflated air mattress. I just threw it back there so that I could see kind of the dimensions, what it would look like back there. It's going to fit. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but once the panel is out it'll fit just fine it's actually a little bit longer than what I need so I'm not going to use that mattress obviously I'm going to get a nice memory foam mattress and if it's a little bit long I can always cut it down a little bit but yeah so that's a pretty big van it's going to fit just fine too so I'm just really excited to get things pulled out and, and worked on and whatnot I have been looking at some different types of insulation online I bought three different things from Amazon I'm not sure if I'm going to use any of them or all of them, but I figured I'd give them a try and see what's up with it. First one is Reflectix. I know that you all know what that is. I got the 48 by 10 foot roll. I know for sure I'll be using this at least to cover the windows. I'm going to be paneling over. I'm going to be paneling over most of the windows and insulating over the top of them. I'll probably encase the Reflectix in black, black felt or something. So it just looks and put it against the window. So it looks like a blacked out window. As far as uh what else I'm going to use? I don't know. I'm just going to have to wait till I get everything here and kind of make it a decision. I know there needs to be an air gap though for this stuff to work best. Say like if I'm insulating a roof or the walls. So I'll have to figure out how to make that work. The next one is some black foam insulation that I got. It's self-adhesive on the back. You just pull it off and it's supposed to be very strong. It's non-slip neoprene rubber maybe for the floor. I don't know. It's waterproof. It insulates. It's a sound barrier. It's only a quarter inch thick so it's not going to be really bulky and other stuff will go on top of it you know like maybe plywood it just depends on how I feel about it once I get it I only bought one roll of that too and this next one is insole foam it's got an R 4.8 insulating factor or whatever this may not seem conventional but after I got to looking at it I thought I might give this a try it's normally used you know like I said to insulate the inside of a garage door and it has a firm face to it. So the part that's facing you is firm. The underside of it has ridges, um, so it makes it really flexible. This may work as the means to totally insulate the van walls. I'm not sure. Or maybe just the roof. Or who knows? I don't know. It doesn't say anything about it being resistant to moisture or if it acts as a moisture barrier. So if I do use it, I'll likely have to use some kind of moisture barrier. I went ahead and asked on Amazon to see if anybody knew the answer to that question. So we'll see. And you know, I don't know anything about this insulation stuff. So I, I need all the help I can get. Um, and as I did with the other things, I only bought, you know, one box of it. So if I like it, I can get more if I need it. If I don't like it, I didn't invest a whole bunch of money. And of course, I got the Reflectix tape as well. I figured I was going to need this no matter what. So I picked it up too. So yeah, I'm just waiting on everything to come in. They should be here by Tuesday. Um, hopefully, it's going to start warming up here pretty soon with the next couple of weeks so I can get to work. Still need to get everything out. It's just so cold. Anyhow, I did find something else that I have been looking looking for and I've been hoping that I would find. I went thrift store shopping and on my second stop yesterday I found this. This is going to be my new bed. <laughs> it is a desk. It's upside down. Um, I got it in to my van myself so that should give you an idea of how just how tough I am. Um, it's three feet wide which is perfect and it is five feet long which is also perfect. Um, I'll be able to fit it lengthwise in the back there, right across the back, right, you know, this way. Um, I'm going to cut off these, um, you know, the legs. I'm going to cut off that thing in the middle because we don't need it for stabilization. I am going to, this part is going to, you know, face me. It's going to face this way. Um, let's see if I can show you. This part in the back, I'm going to cut out so that I can access a little storage cubby from the back. Um, all the drawers, everything still works. This pulls out um, to make like a little desk. So I know it's hard for you to see right now, but you can pull it out and it makes like a little desk. It's so cool. Um, a little like table or something. 
Um, what's really cool, you can't probably can't see this, but this came from a church school. And so somebody was up underneath of this scribbling. <laughs> so cute. Scribbling. This is probably the headmaster's desk or whatever. My dirty shoes. Um, let's see, there was some like math. Somebody was doing some math. Yeah, I'm doing some math underneath the desk. All right, because this is the bottom side. And um, yeah, over here, there's a little thing that pulls out too that makes another little desk. What's going to be make a nice little end table for me. Um, so yeah, all of these are going to come off. This is going to go, this part is going to go directly. Whew, I'm going to have to clean this up, man. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of yucky stuff on it. But that's okay, I got it from Goodwill. No, I got it from the Salvation Army. Um, when I turn it over and you look at it, it's actually a pretty look, cool looking desk. Very sturdy. So, that's going to be my new bed. And it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Oh, look at this little hole. I wonder what that came from. I bet you that was like a little mouse hole or something. Very, very interesting. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what this is going to look like. Um, I measured it and it will fit perfectly across the back there. So hooray, hooray. But it's too cold to really, really be doing anything on this van right now. Um, this door right here, I broke the latch. It's got two little pulleys with balls on the end of them that fit inside this plastic thing. Um, the plastic thing broke because I pulled it too hard and it was too cold. Same thing with this back one right, the, the door back there too. And I can still get it open, I just have to pull the pulley with my hand. But anyhow, this is going to be a problem. That panel right there, that covers the um, heater and air conditioning compressor. If I take this off, which I have, that is basically the ductwork for the heater. So now when I turn on my heat up there, I get no heat. So I'll have to figure something out about that. Don't know. Okay, and there you have it. That's my first shopping spree for the van. Aside from getting the van itself, I have no idea if all this stuff is going to work out or what's going to happen or when I'm actually going to be able to really, really get to work on it. Um, I've got somebody who's willing to trade me work for something that I have that he wants. And no, it's not my luscious body. <laughs> Yeah, right. So he's willing to help me out because there are some things that I simply just cannot do at all. And I don't want to even try and do it right now in the cold because like, for instance, the bolts that hold the brackets that held the seats down, they are completely locked up. There's no way that I can get them undone. The guy may be able to get them undone, but I'm not sure. You know, I just don't know if they're just frozen and I don't want to do any damage to the van. So I'm going to wait until at least it gets above freezing before I try and do anything else on it. So that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. Be sure that you like and subscribe if you like this video and hit the bell if you want updates. Gosh, I'm getting used to this. I'm sounding like a real YouTuber now, aren't I? <laughs> Y'all have a good one.